So, generic VOC guy number two. Can you tell me again how did we achieve monopoly over spice and rule over the spice islands? Well, generic VOC guy number one, let me tell you the story from the beginning. As you hopefully know, we were fighting a very long war against the Spanish for our freedom. The 80 years war. In 1580, our enemies formed a union with their pesky neighbors, the Portuguese, called the Iberian Union. Portuguese were the main suppliers of this spice to Europe. They had presents in the spice islands, castles and trading posts. They brought spices to Europe through land routes from India and Middle East. You see, spices were a crucial part of European cooking. And also they were used to preserve food too. But as war waged on with the Spanish, we were cut from spices. Therefore, we decided to engage in the spice trade ourselves. We sent Cornelis de Hutman in 1596 to observe the spice trade. He used a new sea route that his brother, Frederick de Hutman, found through the Cape of Good Hope to the East Indies. His observations proved that if we engaged in this trade, it would be very profitable. So we sent another expedition in 1599 with Jacob van Neck with even more ships to actually conduct trade. He returns with a 400% profit. Can you believe it? Indeed, it turned out to be a very profitable undertaking, so we decided to form the VOC to control the Spice Islands and its rich trade. This is so cool, but I don't see a correlation with Spice Islands. You idiot! Can't you see the reason from the name of the islands? It is because the most of the spices we monopolized were cultivated only in the Spice Islands. Hence the name. More specifically, cloves, nutmeg and mace were only cultivated in these islands. We did many things to achieve these three spices. Our first target was to monopolize the cloves. In 1606, we reduced the competition in the region by capturing the Portuguese fort of Victoria, located in the Ambon Island. It was thanks to our great admiral Van Hagen. With the Portuguese gone from Ambon Island, we started to control the trade of cloves in our own way. In 1607, we formed an alliance with the Sultanate of Ternate, located in the Moluccas. With this alliance, we had the monopoly of cloves. Mace and nutmeg were a completely different story though. We were able to monopolize both of these spices in 1621. But before we come to that, I must tell you about two very important figures for our company. Lorenz Royal and Jan Peterson Cohen. Wow, who were those guys? Wow, you are really dumb, right? Anyways, these two gentlemen represented two very different point views of the company. You see, Lorenz Real was the governor general of the VOC between the years of 1616 and 1619. He favored the more pacifist policies toward natives of Spice Islands and Asian merchants. Real exemplified the Portuguese in their dealings with the natives. He proposed to the gentleman 17 that we should aid the natives in terms of basic goods and foodstuff and allow Asian traders to conduct trade in the Spice Islands. Wait, who are the gentlemen 17? They are the head of the VOC basically. They are 17 shareholders who decide for the company. There are 7 of them in this picture but imagine 10 more. Anyways, gentlemen 17 did not like the opinions that Real put forward. They wanted to show the company's authority with the force against the locals and they had the perfect man for the job. Jan Peter Sun Cohen. During Real's rule as the governor general, Cohen was already coming up with aggressive propositions that Gentleman 17 preferred. When Real's strategy of appeasement failed to increase our profits, Gentleman 17 appointed Cohen as governor general in 1619 up until 1629. During his time as the governor general, Cohen led a disruptive strategy in the Spice Islands. He enforced the spice monopolies by using military and naval power against the company's rivals and made sure the locals upheld their contracts. In 1621, Cohen conquered the island of Banda, capturing the cultivation point of the nutmeg and maize. He also ordered the extermination of the local populace in order to replace them with our own colonists to create nutmeg and clove plantations. As you can see, generic VOC guy number one, Quan fully utilized our superior naval and military knowledge to defeat our rivals. It is apparent from our rocket engines on our ships. Wait, how do we have rocket engines? Just let it go, okay? 
Anyways, Quan's policies benefited us greatly and we achieved complete control of the spice trade in East Indies. We were now the main suppliers of the spice to Europe. Also, Quan's established monopolies on spices allowed us to branch into the inter-Asian trade, but that's a whole other topic. Maybe I will tell you another time. Our company is truly great. Hell yes, even idiots like you can be shareholders, so it must be. Sir. Sir. Sir, excuse me. Sir. Sir, this is a restricted area. You can't be here. Wait, what?